Okay, Coach Grant, our first time back in Prairie Coliseum since the semester break and not the results that you and your team would have liked. Where did the disconnect happen uh, for your players uh, this game? Well, you know, like you said, we uh, played well the first half. Uh, went into the locker room with a six-point lead. Uh, so you feel good about that. And then coming out of halftime, the first four minutes of that second half are so important. And UCA did a great job in those first four minutes, and, and we didn't. We were flat-footed, and we lacked the energy that we had the first half. We created a lot of turnovers, had a lot of points off those turnovers in the first half, and we didn't see that at all in the second half. You know, but credit our team. Uh, we talk about the entire second half not being good, but after that 11-0 run that UCA went on to start the second half, we came back and took the lead. Uh, so we take the lead there halfway through the second half and then don't continue to do the things that, that, that got us the lead in the first half, that got us the lead in the second half. We, we went back to that lack of energy uh, and we didn't execute on the offensive end. So, you know, we just have to learn from that. Like I said, it's three games in the conference. We're two and one. We learned from the mistakes we did in this game. You know, you can go one of two ways with it. You can, uh, you know, keep, keep thinking about the negative or you can just say, you know what, let's learn from it and focus on the positive and move forward. Okay. Um... The, the basketball is a game of runs, like you've mentioned a bunch of times. And uh, last game uh, against Nichols, you guys went on a 16-point run, but and then you had a scoring drought. Now uh, you guys came away with the win that game. This time you guys didn't really get a big lead, but you guys went on another scoring drought and, and didn't come away with the win. What can your team do despite having a, a lack of scoring and still come up come up with the win? Well, you know, you're you're exactly right when you when you sit there and say we can't have those scoring droughts that we've had. You know, we were lucky enough at Nichols to be able to play well enough defensively to have that scoring drought and come away with the win. Uh, so if you're going to go on those scoring droughts, you got to get it done defensively. And against UCA, we didn't. But bottom line, you need to score more than 19 points and a half to win the game. You don't. You, you can't go on those scoring droughts. You know, there's very few times that you can squeak away with those wins. So when we come down the floor on the offensive end. We've got to go back to what we know, being confident in what we do, uh, and go into you know having players that want the ball in their hands. I felt like we shied away from it a little bit, but like I said, give UCA credit. They they picked up their pressure the second half. They were in the pass lanes. They were making us do some things that that we weren't used to doing. Uh, and so we we just got to learn from it. Come down the floor in the offensive end and stay in attack mode instead of kind of going backwards off of it. We got to stay in attack mode and go the whole.